Can you write your Arduino code without using setup and loop at all? Yes, this is possible. In this video, I'm going to show you how, and more importantly, why. Are you ready? This is the Arduino standard Blink program. Let's run it, and you probably recognize this. It's just blinking this LED connected to pin 13. And if we look at the statistics, we can see that this program uses almost 1000 bytes of memory. Now, Arduino doesn't have a very big program storage memory, and this is already 2% of the Arduino program memory just for something simple as blinking an LED. So let's see how we can make it better. First of all, let's take a note of the program memory size. So we had a uh, 924 uh, bytes, that's 2%. And we also used uh, 9 bytes of uh, dynamic memory, even though we haven't declared any variables here. And that's because the Arduino library itself uses some internal variables to keep track of things like the time that passes. So how can we improve this? First of all, we can replace this cost to pin mode and digital write with different code that manipulates those pins directly. We can do this by looking at the Arduino reference in this port manipulation page. It tells us that we have port B that maps to Arduino digital pin 8 to 13, and it's controlled by three registers. Now we'll probably go deeper into this in another video, but right now let me just show you the code that will turn this LED on without calling pin mode and digital write. So that would be, first of all, we want to set DDR B to all ones. There are a couple of ways to do this and we'll probably cover this hexadecimal notation in another video, but for now just bear with me and remember that this is the equivalent of setting all the pins from 8 to 13 to output. The second thing we want to do is to turn this LED on so we can do it again with those uh, port registers. We can write port B equals FF again to set all the pins from A to 13 to high, and then we can set it to zero to clear all those pins and to turn the LED off. So this code isn't exactly equivalent of what we had before because it toggles multiple pins at once, but let's give it a run. And we can see that the LED still blinks, but now the program is a little bit smaller, like third of the size, almost third of the size is gone. And again, let's take a note of the new memory size. So that would be 646 bytes, still 2%. And we are still using nine bytes of dynamic memory. So that's a bit better, but let me show you how we can do even better. It turns out that in Arduino code, you don't really need to write the setup and the loop functions. If we take a look at the Arduino library code, we can see that it declares a function called main and this function actually calls setup and loop and also calls some other functions that are probably internal to the Arduino library and initializes things like the timers and all the other hardware in the Arduino. So instead of using setup and loop, we can just make our own main that will be run instead of this main function from the Arduino standard library. Let's do this. So this is what we are going to do. We are basically going to remove uh, setup, replace it with main, and then take everything that we had in the loop and move it to main and run it with an infinite loop. So while true, run all these commands that we had in the loop. Okay, and I think we are ready to test this uh, new program. Now we have no setup, no loop, just one main that should do the same. And if we run the code, we can see that now the program is even smaller. It just uses uh, a bit less than 500 bytes, but you might have noticed that there is another problem. The LED doesn't blink anymore. And I will explain why this happens in a second. But first let's do some bookkeeping and write the new uh, size. So it's still uh, using nine bytes of dynamic memory. And now we can answer the question, why did the LED stop blinking? Like it's it turns on, but it no longer blinks. And the reason for that is that we created our own main 
so the Arduino library initialization code didn't run and that causes delay to stop working because delay needs some timers that the Arduino library sets up and since we didn't call the Arduino library code it didn't set up those timers. Um, what we are going to do to fix this is replacing delay with a simple for loop that will just do nothing and wait for the time to pass. So we can do that by writing something like uh, for long i from zero to let's say a big enough number i plus plus and basically do nothing. Now if we run this code, let's run it and we can see that now the, le the LED is a little bit dimmer, it still doesn't blink and we'll get to that in a second. But we can see that now my, our program is so much smaller. It only uses 142 bytes and it also stopped using the dynamic memory. So let's write this down. So now we are only using 142 bytes. So that's 0% and no dynamic memory. That's a great saving. And the reason we managed to reduce our program size so much is because we no longer use the delay function, so the Arduino standard library is no longer compiled in. Whenever you use the delay function, it also uses the milis functions and the other functions internally. And now that we are no longer using it, all this code is gone. It's no longer inside our program. So now when we run the program, we can see that the LED turns on, but it's dimmer. So basically it's turning on and off very rapidly and probably our delays are not working. And the reason for that is that the compiler see that this code doesn't do anything. It's just a for loop that doesn't do anything. So it basically optimizes the code and remove this code. It doesn't really run this code. And here is a little trick that we can do to make the compiler keep this code. Instead of writing do nothing, which is a comment and the compiler can't read that, we can use a spatial construct that tells the compiler, hey, I want to keep this code in. And we are doing it by call, writing ASM and giving it an empty string. Now, I'm not going to go into what ASM is and what it does, but what you should know is that whenever you write this code, the compiler can no longer um, reason about what this for loop is doing. And for this reason, it won't optimize and remove it from the code. Let's try this. Oh, wow. So now the LED is blinking. The program itself um, is now a bit bigger, 176. And that's exactly because of the reason I told you. Before that, these uh, for loops were optimized, were removed from the program. So it was smaller. And now they are in the program, so it's a bit bigger, but still much smaller than it was before. There is another cool optimization we can do. Instead of writing to port B, we can write to a different register called pin B. And then this register toggles the pins of this uh, port. So instead of like telling it go high, then go low, we just tell it toggle, wait, toggle, and then wait. And if we run this code, we can now see that it still does the same, but the program is smaller, 158 bytes only. So we have the same result with a much, much smaller program. So let's write it down. So our final result is um, 158 bytes. And that's how we reduce it to sixth of the size by removing setup, removing lo loop, and replacing delay with this um, do nothing loop. So that was all for today. We covered some pretty advanced topics in Arduino programming. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will try to make uh, videos that answer your questions. And you can find all the links that I mentioned as well as the code from this video in the description below. So until the next time, see you and bye-bye.